Hey guys, welcome back to this crash course with JB Habe. We're reaching the end of the course, so I am um, basically the last part that we have to do to finish everything. Our last step is to create this Java class, this file. This is gonna call the story file, basically our, our test case, the core of our test case. Match it with the steps, the let's say the Java translation of this test case, and it's gonna run it. It's gonna run it for us, and it's gonna print a report. As if we remember, if we I don't know, make a recall, we created a story file under the stories package. Our steps file under the steps package, and we're gonna create this mapper file under this mapper package. As you can see, I already created it because it's not so simple. Actually, if you take a look at, at the JVHAV official page, jvhave.org, it's not quite so straightforward on how to create this, on how to actually, we should, what we should do to run these test cases and have our, our report. Me as a QA, I don't know if, if I'm stupid or what, it, it wasn't that easy, so I had to, I read the whole page, and I had to consult with different blogs and I came up with this solution, with this conclusion. I did this file all by myself. So let me explain you a little bit how how does it work. Again, as a QA, we don't need to to know every single detail of it because it's just not important for us. We we just be sure that we know how to write the uh, test case and how to translated to to Java and that's pretty much it because this file this structure is gonna help us every single time it's gonna write it for us and it's gonna it's gonna print us a report basically what we have to do is to be more structured what I always do is create the new class this mapper class uh, let me say one thing we the best thing to do is create one mapper class per story file just to just not to mess things up to, to be well differentiated so what i do is create a mapper class that has to have the same name as the story file so be let's more let's say more clean so our story file is our first atc the mapper class is going to call our first ATC. This class is going to extend from JUnit Stories. JUnit Stories. This, and this is going to help us with this. We, what we have to do is compute the embedder. This basically, is, this is going to help create a create an instance of the steps class that we created or that we that we're going to use. For instance, if our story file uses more than one step class, let's say, I don't know, UI steps and also REST steps, what we should do is just copycat this line and put it twice, and here add the new, let's, we said that that bogus class was REST services steps, and that's it, and our, now our story file is going to use those two classes. It's not that it's gonna use it. What I mean is if our story file has steps that are in one class and some other steps that are in a different class, this file is gonna be able to find every single step. Okay, let's go back to this example. Also here under story path story path sorry we hard code the exact directory or the exact path where our story file is. In this case it's just stories slash our first ATC that story. And that's it. We told this this mapper to use the steps class, this one, UI steps, with this story file which is located on stories. And here under configuration if we take a look at it, it says load from class, but yada yada yada. User story report builder 
with format console stats oh sorry console stats and HTML basically this means that JBHAP is going to run the test case and it's going to print on the console the results and also it's going to create a stats and an HTML file with the report and that's it that's it and well this this part is the, the actual let's say this method is the one who actually creates the instance and starts running the, the test case but as I said before we don't need to know the actual detail of this so we already told JBHAP to use this story file with this steps file so let's give it a try and see what happens as I said on one of the first videos, jbehave basically is a bunch of JUnits all together. So what we should do is run it, run as, right click, run as, JUnit test. And if we did things kind of right, we should see a Chrome instance opening, get it maximized. And you should open Google, wait for it, wait for it. Google Polska, <laughs> as I said on the first video. It's Google Polska because I moved from Argentina to Poland, so that's why uh, it shows Google Polska. Let's see what happened here on Eclipse. As we stated here at the end, we said, okay, print everything in the console, man, please. So here it says that. JBHAVE executed the given I open a browser when I enter google.com and hit the enter key, then Google is displayed. As simple as that. It doesn't tell us, it doesn't tell us that everything passed. In that, in that aspect, it's uh, not so easy to read JBHAVE because it only tells us when it fails. It's like, like our mom that only tells us when we messed up. Well, it's the same thing with JBHAVE. Uh, this tells us when some steps fail. And also, if we take a look after stories, the rating reports, view to see users, yada 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 yada, try with JBHAP. Let's see what is in there. Okay, I have here, let's just in case refresh, view. Let's open reports. What is in the reports? Okay, it says that. It run the after stories, the before stories, and also executed our first ATC. One test case that was successful with three steps that were successful, and it took 12 seconds to, to run it. So let's open it. And here it says, it show us, it's showing us the steps that successfully executed. I know that uh, this report is not too fancy, but JBHAP allow us to it allows us to, to modify the CSS to make it I don't know pretty for in this particular course I'm not gonna do it but if you want uh, we can do an, an another another tutorial on how to edit this JBHAP report. Let's gonna give it a second try. I want to show you how it looks when something fails. So let's go back to our first uh, ATC that story and let's modify here. Let's modify yada 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 for instance, and well, the browser should be open, uh, Selenium should, it's gonna try to open this, nothing's gonna ha happen, so this, the step that is gonna happen should be this one, when you try to assert the title, so let's go back here, right click, run as JUnit, and let's see what happens. Starting, ding, 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 ding. That's Jeopardy, in case you don't know. Okay, now it's gonna try to open this Google comma la la la. It fails. Okay, perfect. Let's go back to Eclipse. As as we said before, the browser got open. Selenium enter this URL, but it fails in this assertion. Comparison failure, and now. JBH is telling us that it actually failed. So let's go back to this report. Let's go back here. Let's refresh this. Dig in. Let's go back to reports. 
No, aha. Failed. One failed. Let's see why. Our first DC, no fail. One thing uh, that I must mention, the, um, the reports, they don't get preserved. So if we run one test case and we run it again, the second report is going to delete the first one. So in case that we need if we need several reports, we should store them somewhere else. Let's open here. And it's going to say the exact same thing that the console told us. The step that failed was the, the Google list display because there was a comparison failure. Okay. Finally, to close this, this course, I want to show you one another, let's say, error that we can face within JBH. Let's go back to the, to here, to Eclipse. I don't know if you remember that I told you that the action phrases, which are this one, the actual sentences of the test, should match perfectly with the phrase that we wrote here. There should be an exact copycat. So let's give it a try and let's change this. Let's and let's hit enter random key for instance. And let's try to run again this test case. Let's try to run it. TV is starting. It opens the browser. That step is perfect. It opens the browser. Nothing happens. Why nothing is happening? Let's go to Eclipse. And here now we're gonna see it didn't fail. The step ended up pending. We should be really careful with this because it can give us uh, it can give us quite a headache. For instance. It is it's also really sensitive. If we have an extra space somewhere in between or something like that, it can fail. So that maybe can steal us uh, steal some quite a decent amount of time. So we have to be really careful with this. It didn't fail, just was pending. One other thing, if one step fails or I don't know ends up as pending. The rest of the steps they aren't performed. So if we take a look here, pending, and the next step is uh, ended up as not performed. Let's see what does the report show us now. Refresh, I refreshed it. Let's open the report. And now again, it ran just one test case and with one step pending. Let's open it. And it tells us the same thing. This step ended up pending, and the last one didn't get performed. So, guys, basically, this ah, and one thing that is kind of tricky: JUnit uh, showed the, the the test as green, but it's not green. If this is one tricky thing about JUnit, because Technically, the test didn't fail, but it, it didn't succeed either. But it didn't fail, that's why it doesn't show us as, as red. But as I was saying before, basically we reached the end of the course. This, this was a, quite a brief course, not so structural, with not so technical detail. But it's, it was like a quick glance on how to set up JBehave. I'm gonna upload all of these all of these uh, classes and stuff like that and POM and everything to the Udemy platform for you to have it. But just please if you have any doubt, if you have uh, want any help with that, you have any any comments on how to improve, please be uh, feel free to contact me in any way you can, in, in any way you want actually. So this one was my first course, so I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want, I can deep dive more into this. I can show you, as I said before, how to have a prettier report. And maybe on the next on the next sessions, we can use Jenkins and stuff like that. And I can also show you something that I really like. is not just how to test UI, but how to test 
backend services, for instance, REST services. So just let me know what do you want to, what would you like to know and to improve, and I'll be glad to help you with that. Thank you guys, and I really appreciate the, the time that you took from your from your day to take this course. Thanks. See you next time.